for this project for making symbols we need to make thumbnail sketches we're going to make 10 thumbnail sketches so what I like to do is like to think about the entire space that I'll be operating in or working in so I have this little three and a half by two and a half template is actually a canvas and on this one sheet of paper I can get a number of these here so some of them may be in landscape so I can put a few in landscape and I like working right next to each other so if you have an idea you can switch around with different ideas I may have one in portrait mode so it's more of like a vertical format and you know you may want to work in a circle so in this case I have a I have a compass and I'll make a roughly about a two inch circle and so now within these formats what we want to do is we want to make what we call like rough sketches these are just for ideas not for they're not finished products so you can just start working on an idea so let's see if I had something with an organic shape to it like a leaf form you know just shape to it and repetition is good so maybe I might add another shape inside that shape and that shape here so now I can look at this one and say okay graphically this shape right here if I shade this in you know This may make for an interesting shape by using the two shapes together. So now, now, so now that would be one idea. That could be one idea. And then I could say, well, I like that one. I like working right next to one another because I can use one idea to help build on the, the other ideas. So if I build on this theme here, let's take this same theme and let's say bring it into this other format and instead of working in the positive I'm going to work in the negative shapes so we will say we're working the negative shapes out here idea is we're going to make something without using any numbers or letters and then you want to describe it so if you look at this you know, might say this is a organic form and this one here is like Again, this is something like an organic organic form. So you want each one of these things. You want to just write a little something about what the idea is. Here, I'm thinking in terms of nature. Again, so I'll, I'm just going to write and start out. Sometimes you can start out with the with the theme is, and then you can work from there. So nature. Um, life you know, I mean, think about life in nature so I want to do something within the circle so I can let's say if I did like a building on this same idea so these are like we're not trying to do like really finished
sketches on these. So I want to just use this, this shape, but I don't want to show the circle. I could now go in and take away the lines around the circle. And so, so now the circle is implied here. So this is dealing with life and nature. And something graphic. So we just kind of like make like a quick sketch, something that's pretty graphic. So now I already have like three different ideas, and I can do the same thing with this one. I can do work with that, you know, kind of like taken away. So here, like kind of have an idea of what I wanted to work my idea in. So if I just take away these, this shape here, and I kind of like created a kind of a symbol. And do the same thing here. So like I have these two pieces and sometimes you start out so now already I have like like three different things going here and so I can say I've started out with a circle maybe I can take my compass and swing this one over here maybe I'll swing this one over here like that and Let me see, I'm thinking maybe life to life. And so moving with those same forms. Now you can do your own ideas. I'm just kinda like playing around here with, my, with these ideas. So life to life. Maybe these these forms here, bring them in, coming out and then here. Now I just kind of breaking the plane here, or maybe I can just continue to well the frames kind of give it structure, but you don't have to stay within that structure. So I'm gonna take the frame off on the side here. If you like, you can use, um, we we're talking about using markers. And this is just like the first stage, but sometimes you might really, you know, get into something that you kind of like the way things are moving and you can So this is my one that I call life to life. And you can just keep going. So we need five on this one sheet of paper I've made. I made uh, four of them. And the kind of continuity between these shapes kind of helps. You can build off of a, a concept. So you don't have to have a completely different thing going, but you can start out with one idea and just kind of like build on it. So I started with this one first and I kind of moved to this one and then I moved over here to this one and then I went over to this one over here. So, but as you can see, they're not like refined drawing. The next stage that, we, that we're gonna work on in step two, we're gonna do our roughs where they'll be more defined. So with your symbols, you want to think 
you want to think graphically, you know, and think about simple shapes. So like right on this page, I have a circle. I have like boxes and squares and like with this shape right with the this shape right here I could just move this slide this over a little and say move it like that and make it more of a square shape so like there are three basic shapes circles squares we and um, triangle so and you can do a lot of things basically in geometric form off these basic shapes so you've probably looked at a number of different types of symbols where the main thing is like these basic shapes the use of the basic shapes here and here, let's say if I wanted to use like some tone or something to these. And I could have like one side, that value, this side, and a little bit darker. Now to create this as a whole in the middle here, I have to give some put some tone in there either side either in the circle now sometimes when you start you notice that you can start with something and then decide okay where what direction was like where am I going because sometimes you work too hard trying to figure out where you're going but you can just start designing you start designing a concept and then look at it and then decide like you know what you would want to say about this uh, this shape or this this form here and don't forget you can always use your eraser as a drawing tool I used to say like if you want to say like I want to go in here and put a diagonal in there now I've created another shape inside this shape and you can begin to develop different kinds of symbols now this one you've probably seen a lot so with a little thing circle with a, a diagonal going through so it could be a uh, caution and it could be a caution to a specific type of a caution to a specific type of a thing and if it's, if you've never seen it before that's okay because sometimes some things you've never seen before you're developing it fresh and so you kind of like develop your ideas like this could be one um, and then since I have a page here I can take say like this one where I put the circle in the middle of a box now like maybe I'll put a let me see put the triangle inside of a, a circle and it sort of like create something entirely different and maybe open up the circle so it's kissing the side of the box and you can again you can work in you can go in here and shade in areas if you want to but for what we're doing you could even just like make notes on the side of this saying that um, I'm going to shade um, you can see uh, this is another caution symbol and can continue going on I'm looking at this uh, say if I said I looked at this I just got an idea say like this is the the end of the earth
things. So I got this, uh, the end of the earth. So I got already have like this circular form and maybe within that I have something that like breaks the two, the earth in half. In half and now doing that this idea of the being the end of the earth I just started thinking about what's going on now um, you can build on like the coronavirus um, so if I had another one let me see maybe just show like a half of a of the earth and then maybe some of those kind of like So I have something like that, you know, just kind of like giving an idea of the, that, and you can just keep building on them. So started with the earth here, then I kind of like with this caution thing over here. This one here is just, you know, dealing with the virus. Um, I don't want to just keep spinning. I want to take all your ideas. So this is just to help you get started. And then after we do this, we're going to look at all of them and take a, a number of them and refine them a little bit and then we're going to do a final symbol so this is for this class and then i'll make a part two so you can see what our next step would be for the first session we're going to do 10 roughs and this didn't take me that long they usually don't take a long it usually takes a long time if you're stressing yourself but just start put the pencil down and just start moving it around and you'll work out some kind of interesting ideas.